you know, Whoopi and I are actually really close friends. She's one of my dearest friends, and the need is, um, and it shocks a lot of people because Whoopi and I don't think alike at all. Like, yeah. not at all. But the, and we didn't start <laughs> off on, on the best way because I had already encountered um, like another single name person who just, I was like, I, if you only go by one name, like we might have a problem. And so I was judging and I was assuming like what that was like and we kind of like locked horns on our first day and that was what Whoopi and I have been able to do is a friendship that's not based on thinking the same but just having the same heart and loving the same way and she loves my family and I love hers. I really have enjoyed and benefited from the gift of her welcome and her hospitality me just as I am she doesn't try to change my mind in our we sort of operate like heart to heart which is um, nice you know I think that we can lose a lot of relationships trying to prove the other person wrong and I'm yeah. guilty of it like I, I I spent 10 years on the view thinking I was the only person in the world who had to sit there and if I didn't say this who would and meanwhile God's saying the Lord will fight for you if you were only still like if you are still, I will fight for you. But I sort of had it at times almost backwards. Like I put the responsibility solely on me. And sometimes I think he was asking me to maintain relationships rather than being right about everything. And mm. you can be super wrong with someone. And um, I think it's what came to me in the writing this writing season this year because there were some relationships, some public and some very private that suffered because I held on with a double grip to being so right because if I let go of this, you know, bar that I was upholding, then you know what was going to happen? No, I don't know why things are going off on Tim's computer. <laughs> um, I, If I didn't hold on with both hands so tight on being right on this issue, then who would? And the real, yeah. I think... It's just asking us, like, let go. You don't have to let go of your your constitutionally protected rights to your politics or your freedom or your religion. Like, those are really blessed things that we can hang on to. But let go. Don't double grip. Hold someone's hand at the same time who might not think the same way. And I really believe that's what God is asking us to do. And this is from someone who got it wrong a lot of the time. You know, I'm not saying I was mm. wrong about that, too. I believe that I – I believe – in the right to life. I believe that children are created by God. I believe that there is a distinct purpose um, on the lives of the unborn. I don't think I'm wrong about that because I don't think God's changed his position on that the last time I checked. But I do believe that I can still hold the hand of someone who might have walked a different path, understand where they're coming from and their point of view so that we can be in relationship. Because I don't think God wants us to be apart. I think the enemy wants our hearts to be apart. And so I think that's where Whoopi and I have been able to navigate a friendship that's not based on the same way. Um, and listen, I'm a girl who spent, I spent a decade trying to make my point hard. And I just want to spend the rest of my life pointing to the maker. And I know that if, if I can do that by the grace of God, um, by the power of the Holy Spirit, then maybe we can just understand a little bit more about mm -hmm. what the whys behind our what's, you know, like, well, why do you feel that way about this issue? Let me understand it a little more. And for me, understanding is literally like standing under God's grace and provision. Like my opinion is not greater than the God I stand under. Like what I stand for and on can't be more of a priority than the God I stand under. And the God I stand under, mm. as far as I've read, and I'm so ready to be wrong for the rest of my life because I was right for so long. But I think that he's asking us to stand under his grace and be in relationship with one another more than anything else. Um, and it doesn't mean forfeiting the things that you know are biblically sound and true. But I think we yeah. can try aim to be both as best as we can as humans. Like only Jesus did that perfectly well. But we certainly have a great model. Wow. Man, I, I love that. We, we, we need a whole small group curriculum around what you just said. <laughs> here in, this, in these last two minutes.